to the moon isn't as simple as just flying straight there. On Artemis 1, the Space Launch System rocket will first take off from Earth with the Orion spacecraft on top. The upper stage of the SLS will take Orion out of Earth's orbit and give it a big push toward the moon. Then, a part of Orion called the Service Module takes over and Mission Control in Houston helps keep Orion on the right path. Once Orion is close to the moon, the Service Module's engines need to be fired at two very special points to make sure we enter what's called a Distant Retrograde Orbit, or DRO for short. When Orion gets near the moon, lunar gravity will pull the spacecraft to about 60 miles above the moon's surface. Mission controllers precisely fire the Service Module's engines, aiming for the exact altitude or height of a Distant Retrograde Orbit. Orion travels for five days to meet the orbit, 40,000 miles beyond the moon. Once at just the right height, a second burn of the service module engines steadies Orion into DRO. The orbit is called distant because Orion will be orbiting very high above the moon's surface. Retrograde is just a fancy word for opposite. The moon travels around the Earth in one direction. Orion will go around the moon in the opposite direction. DRO is a stable orbit that's easy for Orion to remain in. Once in the orbit, Orion will travel for six days around the far side of the moon before making its way back to Earth. Once it's time to come back to Earth, Orion's service module engines are fired to leave Distant Retrograde Orbit, or DRO. The burn sends Orion on a five-day path to come back toward the moon. Orion comes very close to the moon again, passing about 60 miles above its surface. Then, the engines are fired for a second time, and the burn works with the pull of the moon's gravity to shoot Orion back on a path toward home. Before entering Earth's atmosphere, Orion's service module will separate from the crew module. The crew module will be traveling at a speed of about 25,000 miles per hour when it hits the atmosphere. Orion will reach temperatures of nearly 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit as it slows down due to air friction. That's almost half as hot as the sun. But don't worry, Orion has a heat shield to protect it, and parachutes will make sure it lands safely in the Pacific Ocean at the end of the mission.